Now, PayPal shares popped over 6% in trading on Thursday. Investors are embracing the company's strategy of converting the online payments platform into a digital wallet. First quarter results show that CEO Dan Shulman's strategy is working as the company raises its annual forecast. Now, I spoke with the CFO, John Rainey, earlier about the company's focus on partnerships. Partnerships has been a big part of our strategy when we made a pivot about a year ago, uh, starting with some announcements with Visa, but those have been followed on with announcements with Facebook, Alibaba, and most recently uh, you see Google. And the, the, the space around payments and with the, the combination of, uh, of uh, online and offline continuing to merge, it's, uh, it increases the addressable market. And it's one where we believe the right strategy is to partner with others and build on their strengths that complement the strengths of PayPal. A lot of it you're now focusing on is payments. What about the credit side of the business? Because there's been talk about perhaps spinning off that, that particular area of offering loans and, and, and credit to, to people and businesses. Is this something, you talk of an asset light future, is that something that you can explain for us, please? Sure, that's a great question, Caroline. And, and I'll tell you, we have a, a credit product that complements the holistic suite of payment offerings for our customers. And our merchants and our consumers love it. So we want to continue to be in the credit business. But to your very point, uh, we can do it in a less capital intensive manner. Today we've got over $5 billion of consumer credit receivables on our balance sheet. And so what we're exploring are, are options where we can partner with other issuers or, or even maybe do just a strict, a pure asset sell uh, so that we can free up that cash and use it for capital allocation to what is perhaps higher returning investments. What sort of higher return investments are you analyzing? Well, the, the, I think most importantly is investing in ourselves. Uh, we're a growth company that's growing revenue almost 20% a year, so we need to continue to invest for tomorrow. At the same point in time, a key pillar of our strategy is acquisitions. And there are a lot of acquisitions that help fill in holes maybe that we have or, or white space where we are uh, globally. And lastly, uh, we've got uh, the balance sheet and the, the cash generation to distribute cash to shareholders. And we just announced and, and, this quarter that, uh, that we increased our, our share buyback authorization to $5 billion following the $2 billion one we announced last year. So shareholders get an uptick. You talk about the white space that potentially could be analyzing for acquisitions. What sort of white space, where do, which gaps do you want to be filling in? Well, certainly if you look across the world, uh, whether it's, it's Asia or getting down to Africa, parts of Europe, there, there are markets that we're not uh, penetrated in to the extent that we'd like. And importantly, we talk about democratizing money. If you think about a, a emerging economies broadly, there are two billion people in emerging economies that don't have access to, to basic things that you and I take for granted, like a checking account, a savings account, uh, having a mortgage on their home. And the benefit of FinTech with what we can do with a, a mobile phone and mobile technology is put all the power of a bank branch in the palm of their hand. And so there, there's a huge addressable market for us and many others to play in. So fascinating. Maybe we reach into the emerging markets. What I'm really interested in is also some of the products that are currently available here in the United States. I'm yet to see it perhaps moving its way to the UK. But talk to us about Venmo because this is largely free. But how do you think that this might be monetized? Is it all about user engagement? Is that what it's driving at the moment? Well, Venmo is about user engagement. It's also about customer acquisition. It is one of the, the largest vehicles that we have for acquiring customers today. And it truly is a, a viral app. And, and when we think about Venmo, what's unique about Venmo is that it combines not only payments, peer-to-peer -peer payments, but a social experience as well. 90% of Venmo users have, have opened up the, the social feed uh, on, the, on the platform so they can share that experience with their friends. And that's of huge value to merchants because there's, there's really high fidelity in what one individual does in terms of their purchasing patterns and its influence on other individuals. We're just now launching Pay With Venmo, which is enabling uh, us to expand from just a peer-to-peer -peer platform with Venmo, Venmo to where uh, our customers can pay with Venmo at stores. And certainly merchants are looking forward to that as well. There's also talk of competition in this area, and Apple is said to be analyzing a Venmo rival. Would that be a concern? Competition is nothing new to us. It's, uh, this is 
uh, as I suggested, it, there's a huge addressable market, and, and certainly there's a, a lot of excitement in fintech in general, and that's why you see uh, the level of competition that, that, that we realize today. But, but in the face of that competition, we've been able to grow our revenue uh, upwards of uh, 20%, continue to expand our operating margins, and generate free cash flow margins 20 to 25%. So it's, it's, it's nothing new for us, and it's candidly what gets us up each morning and excited about uh, uh, facing the day. And sometimes competition can become frenemies, and we've seen you strike a, a very interesting deal and one that is thought as very wise among the analyst group is, of course, working with Android in terms of integrating into Android Pay. What about integrating into Apple Pay? Would we see those sorts of deals being struck? Yeah, well, whether it's Apple Pay or, or any other technology platform, one of the, the great aspects about uh, PayPal is that it's truly technology agnostic. We can, it can be used across any platform, any mobile device across the world. And so our aspiration is to partner with all of those major technology players to, to allow our customers, most importantly, to use PayPal whenever they want and wherever they want.